Okay, so I got a Ford Transit 250, so 2022. And um, gonna be doing an alternator. FYI, alternator for this brand, uh, I mean, for this Ford, you're gonna have to get it at the dealership. So just throwing that out right there. So if it's late night like now, you know that you're gonna have to go to the dealership to get it. All right, so we're gonna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. I already tested the battery. It's a good battery. So, uh, as you can see, it's 2023. Uh, it's in the passenger side over there. We're gonna come over here. And I'm gonna show you. This is where the alternator is located. It's located right here. Driver's side, you'll see it right at the top. First, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start to uh, take off the belt tensioner. Now, there's two belts, but for specifically for this belt, you're going to, you see where my wrench is? Wrench is over here, right under there. So that's the belt tensioner. So let me just show you. You're gonna be pulling down on it. So let me get it to where I can push down on it successfully here. This is a tight, very tight spot for everything. I've been like putting my hand down there, just like, excuse my ashiness, but dang, I just like scratched myself there trying to reach down there. So let me pull down and then it comes off. The um, belt diagram on how to put this on is really simple because you can, I'll put a picture on to show you how it looks. But yeah, so now I have two bolts and I'm gonna get to the second bolt from the bottom. So you have one bolt here. I'm gonna start by taking that, uh, taking that nut off and I'm gonna show you where the other one is at the bottom. All right, so I am getting it loose here and it has a nut on the back as you can see, but we're gonna make sure that stays in there. So I'm gonna try my hardest here to get this spinning out. One hand. There we go. It's coming. All right, so. Bolt is gonna have some trouble. As you can see, the fan is in the way so then we're going to go ahead and take the cord off the plug into it and then we're going to go ahead also and take that now this is like on here pretty tight because i know like this has never been taken off before so it's like super sealed on there so i'm going to get some super tools to take that off and we're going to take the top uh cable off there so let me get that all right so also when you're taking this off don't forget to pull that back and then take it off i couldn't see the red top from the, the red tab from the top so i ended up figuring it out but other than that this is a half go ahead and take the uh, boat off So there you go. That's the bolt. Take it off. Where is it at? Where am I? Okay, right. there we go. We got that. Now, we got both of those off. Okay, so I had to just wiggle the starter out. I mean, the alternator out. Kind of thought I was recording a little bit when I first was taking it out, but I guess not. 
but I put the phone down. I guess it must have stopped. But you just don't, when you were going this out, you just don't want this to smack you in the face when it comes down. But that, I wouldn't. Oh boy. So it sits in the housing over here. So that's where it came out from. One bolt here, and it goes into that stud there. And it comes out from underneath. Not on top. All right, so got it all out pretty easy. Uh, put my lockout tag out on there. So this is an Amazon yard, so I just don't want anybody and every, anyone just coming and touching it. So like I said, it's late at night and all the places I've called for this alternator have basically said it's way too new and they don't carry it. So it's one of those things I gotta go to Ford. Like I said, if you're in a situation I'm in and you ended up changing this at night, you're gonna have to go to Ford, so just remember that. So I'll be coming back to this Monday morning. Alrighty, so I'm back and I have the uh, the new alternator. Alrighty, here it is from Ford. So you have your part number and everything like that. And we're gonna go ahead and get it back into the trunk. All right, so I ended up handling a couple phone calls. So I ended up just having to go ahead and put it in. And it's in there now. And I'm going ahead and starting it up. Starts right up. And uh, let me show you what an alternator with good voltage looks like. So we have alternator, chest, uh, putting out 14.4. You know it's good. It's not overcharging, neither is it undercharging. It's keeping the battery charged. It's not cutting off like how it was. So that's how you uh, you test your uh, alternator. That's what it's supposed to uh, be reading when it is uh, running. All right, so pretty much, that's pretty much it on how to do it uh, while taking it out. The way you take it out is just the same way you put it back in. It's like so straightforward. Uh, just letting it run to make sure, just verifying everything. But other than that, this job here is done. Any questions or anything like that, just uh, leave it in the comment section. And, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. We need some more subscribers on this channel. So thank you very much.